Howdy friends out in YouTube land, Asenva here for another BJD video. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you five tips for doing face-ups. Little disclaimer here, I don't claim to be a professional face-up artist, but I have done my fair share of face-ups and I do actually have commissions open to do face-ups. So I kind of feel like I have a pretty good understanding of them um, and I've learned a lot over the years. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give you those tips. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal tip number one from one of my other videos that I actually uh, put out, which was BJD Hacks. And I want to say this is probably my strongest tip I can give you. Um, you'll find that when you put pastel on your dolls, it tends to go everywhere. It'll go into the ears, it'll go into the head. So cover up the areas that you don't want pastel to get into by putting putty over it. Now I have this blue putty. I normally typically recommend the beige poster putty. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use just this one today. Tip number two, which seems like it would be kind of obvious, um, but may not be so obvious to people that are new to doing face-ups, but you're going to want to work in layers. Now, what do we mean by that? Uh, we mean that, like, for example, right now I am working on the undermost layer, which is going to be shadows. And so I will do, like, you know, shadowing for the cheeks, I'll do shadowing for the eyes, for maybe a little bit of lip color here, um, and then that's it. I'll go ahead and I'll seal this layer in, and it'll be my first sealed layer. Then I'll move on to my next layer, which will be more shadows, so I'll add more color into it. Uh, I might dive into starting my eyebrows. Maybe I'll throw in some acrylic here or there, but it's it's not, I'm, I don't really do like layers for everything, but I'll try to get the main things that I want to get sealed in. The reason behind this is that, you know, for example, if you happen to make a mistake, uh, you're not, it's, it's not going to get as much as of your previous layers if you've already sealed them in. It's not to say that this layer is completely indestructible. I, it still might come off, but it definitely won't come off as easy as it would if I hadn't have sealed it. So I really want to make sure that I do seal all my important layers before I move on to the next part. So this is a point where I would stop. So this would be enough shades for me and base colors for me to seal this first layer in. Tip number two, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Who doesn't love doing eyebrows? I don't. <laughs> Oh God, guys. Okay, so what I've learned over the years is that I would really love to make a stencil, but at the end of the day, it's just, there's a lot if you have to lay down a stencil um, onto a face. So I think my biggest tip that I can give you is to always use an angled brush. So this is an angled brush that I use for pretty much all my BJDs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out of the shaved pastels that I have here, I'm gonna do a very light color on him and um, since my example for today he is tan resin um, I can use I could use like a white but I'm actually gonna use like a light brown um, because I just really want to plot out where I'm gonna put it typically I, I do try to just do like two lines um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start here at this eye I'm also trying to keep in mind depending on how high or how low you put it it could put off a different emotion so I'm gonna make it, he's gonna be just pretty like regular. So I'm gonna do uh, one line here and I'm gonna stop at the end where I imagine if he was looking forward and his eyes were centered, I'm gonna imagine where the side towards the outer part of the eye, wherever that the end of his like the color in his eye would be is where I'm gonna start the angle. My line is going to about here and then I'm going to start angling it down now. So from this point now I'm going to bring the line down and the point is just to be a guide. So this is just going to show me where they're going to start, where they're going to be. Um, but yeah, using this angled brush is really awesome because it can help you create that straight line. Um, and then it's thin enough if you get a thin, if you get a thin um, 
angled brush, it'll give you a good idea of like what the shapes could look like. If you are ever curious about doing tattoos, uh, I'd just like to alleviate some stress for you because I really liked the idea of tattoos on my BJDs, but I found that I was really bad at drawing them, which is weird because I really like to draw, but I don't know what it is. I'm just not great at putting them on my BJDs. And typically like you use like pretty much all your face-up materials for tattoos. You can use um, watercolor pencils and acrylic paint and stuff, but I just can't get it. I purchased these actually at um, the Daiso. I don't know if they're even being sold there anymore, but you can literally look for like, I think they are even categorized as finger tattoos. Uh, but just, you're going to want small enough tattoos that you're going to put on your BJDs. And uh, just make sure that like they're your basic, nothing fancy schmancy. There's some that are like, oh, last forever tattoos or last for like five weeks tattoos. Just get some just regular Plano Jano acrylic based um, tattoos. Um, even on the back of like this Daiso tattoo thing. It says the materials are just acrylic. So that's basically what you're looking for. You just need something that um, kind of fits that realm because this will come off really easily. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna try to cut it as close as you can without getting too much of the outside of it. You wanna get as much as just the tattoo itself because it will show like, uh, and I'll show you in a bit, it'll show like a tiny, 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 tiny bit up on your, doll so the closer you can get it to the actual black part on your tattoo or whatever color your tattoo is the better so depending on where you put your tattoo you're gonna want to make sure that that part has been previously sealed with sealant of some sort and then you'll be ready to go ahead and apply so we're gonna go ahead and open up take off the film there's that clear film. Now we're ready to go ahead and apply the tattoo. We're gonna go ahead and put it where we want it. Make sure you're happy with the spot. And you're gonna go ahead and just like when you were a kid, you're gonna put a little paper towel and you're gonna wet it. Make sure it's really nice and saturated. Um, you wanna make sure that it's gonna really stick on your doll. You also wanna make sure that it is flat as possible. So make sure that it is on there nice and even very carefully you're going to want to go ahead and lift this up if you have tweezers you can do it with tweezers if you're good enough to do it with your finger then go ahead but you're going to want to just take this off i like to dab it a little bit more just to make sure that it's on there flat and then we're going to let that dry as soon as this is done drying you're gonna wanna go ahead and seal it in. So you can go ahead and use your sealant spray and then just spray just your top part, whatever, wherever you applied the tattoo, um, just so that way it can stay in place. Now, I've had some of these tattoos, these temporary tattoos on my dolls, and they've lasted a good amount of time. It really depends on where you put them. Um, I had some on one of my boys on his hips and of course, since you put on pants and stuff like that, it kind of started to come off quite easily, like maybe after a few months and changing clothes. Um, but he had another one by his neck, and that one lasted a while. So it really just depends on how well you take care of them and, and how you get them sealed in there and stuff, and uh, your tattoo will stay there. My last tip is about eyelashes. So when you're getting ready to put in false lashes into your doll, you're gonna wanna give your glue some time to get tacky. And what I mean is that I know you're super eager to throw these bad boys in there. You wanna have those beautiful eyes, but you wanna go ahead and Give it about 30 seconds before you start throwing the eyelash with the glue in there and start adjusting. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and put your glue on your lashes, kind of like similar if you've ever put false lashes on. Uh, you always give it time to get tacky, like sticky. 
So you're gonna put like your first set of glue here like this onto your lash. And like I said, give it about, eh, you know, like 30 seconds. Like give it 30 seconds or so. So that way it's kind of sticky and then that way when you stick it into the eye, it's not gonna be all wiggly in there. Also, a bonus tip, use like a brush to help you uh, lay it down inside of the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in and then we'll start brushing it in. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying this bad boy in there. Uh, make sure that your lashes are facing the correct way. I'm gonna also kind of preemptively put a little bit of the glue onto my brush. I'm gonna slip it in here like this and then I'm gonna lay it down might be easier for me to control it from the inside ah I love it I love when it just goes down already ignore how ugly the inside of this head cap looks but uh, I went ahead and I just literally tapped it once and since it's already kind of drying it's kind of tacky it just stuck it didn't slide around it didn't get all crazy on me and I'm actually kind of happy with where it's at right now so at this point, you can add more glue if you need to. You can adjust it, kind of play with it and see where you need to have it. Um, I like to have a little bit of glue on the side and kind of paint brush it on to kind of help me layer it on there. So I kind of like, I kind of like dab it in here. So I'm gonna let this bad boy dry for a while and then I'm gonna make my like cuts to the eyelash. I basically just don't want to move this until uh, it's dried. So I hope these tips helped out if you were curious about tips for face-ups. As always, feel free to reach out to me. You can leave me a comment down below or you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure to check out the blog. That's www.bjdlife.com. And I hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day. Bye!